In our previous video, we documented how you can use MCYZL and some of the overview of it. Uh, now what we're going to do is look at the middle school zone and see what kind of resources are available for us in the middle school zone. So right now I'm going to click on the Student Research Center. Uh, when you click on this, you may be prompted to enter a password. Uh, I'm using this from home, so it's asking me to use a password. Uh, you can acquire this from the school media coordinator. Uh, but students can search uh, by keyword, or they can search by topic here. Um, there's some great options for language arts and social studies teachers here, uh, especially if you narrow it down to the primary source documents. I know that's a new emphasis in the Common Core. Um, you can also limit your search to a publishing date if you need more up-to-date information. Uh, you can also limit it by the Lexile reading score and it gives you kind of an approximation of what those scores would mean as far as grade level reading approach. So that would be a great way to differentiate uh, some of your um, information that you need for student use. Uh, but if we head back to the middle school zone and we go to our next resource, Britannica, uh, most people are probably familiar with Encyclopedia Britannica. Well, this is the online version, and we have a subscription to this. And so it gives lots of resources here. Uh, if you go down, there's a subject index, um, kind of similar to what we saw on the Student Research Center. Um, but you can find your topic or subject that you teach and find some great resources there. Uh, there's also a section for biographies, a world atlas, uh, comparing countries, um, so some interesting stuff there, and then touring the USA. Uh, also has some other useful things as well, has some daily things that change, uh, daily buzzword, um, a vocabulary uh, thing for the day, and also biography of the day. So that's the Britannica. And then the next resource we're going to look at is InfoTrack Junior. And I'm clicking on this. And again, it's going to ask for the password. And again, you just get that from your library, librarian, school librarian. And it should be the same password for uh, each of these. But InfoTrack Junior, it's a database with over 1.6 million articles that are continually updated. It contains more than 250 full-text titles. It even includes e-books uh, and also includes major magazines, newspapers, and reference works. Uh, if we go down to Growler Online, this is another online encyclopedia that we have access to. It has a lot of those same resources. Uh, if you look on the side, though, you'll notice that it has some of those resources that we saw uh, on the side of the page, this is also another link to the lands and people and popular science links that are on the side of the page. Uh, it's got some great lesson plan links here uh, where it says uh, for educators, so that would be something that you definitely want to take a look at. Uh, has lesson plans that are searchable um, based on your grade, based on your subject area. Um, you can find articles, again, by the Lexile score. And so some excellent, excellent resources within the Growler Online. And I'll show some more of that um, during some of the individual um, subject area ones. The junior reference, again, very similar to the uh, previous document, but it's just going to be a database that we can use to... Um, search and find what we're looking for and um, it's a great research tool. Um, you can narrow it down depending on what you're looking for. Uh, maybe it's student edition or maybe you're just looking for science resources. But this is another excellent resource that we have available to us. It provides searchable results including magazines, academic journals, books, newspapers, images, videos, and audio clips.